Hi, it's uh, Friday, uh, January 29th, 2016, and uh, I'm being talk I will be talking today about silver, because uh, there's been some really uh, interesting uh, or unusual activity in the LBMA uh, market, uh, which is the London Bullion uh, Market Association. Um, you know, uh, they set the uh, the price of uh, silver and gold every day. They do the fix, and there are member banks who are involved in this. And a uh, big story yesterday was that silver was, uh, you know, trading around $14.40 uh, on the futures, uh, COMEX, and $14.40. Uh, Forty-one uh, on the spot price, and despite that, uh, the LBMA fixed the price of uh, silver at uh, thirteen dollars and fifty-eight cents, which is about uh, six percent below the market uh, where the market was. And um, you know, you have to wonder, you know, what what is going on, you know, uh, when someone has to. Uh, to fix uh, the price of silver 6% below the market. Uh, are the uh, members of uh, the OBMA, the people who fix you know, the price of silver, uh, are they in trouble? Are they uh, really uh, that short that they need to uh, set the price lower so they can cover their shorts? It could be, they're, you know, they're showing their hands. And more incredibly though, um, I'm just reading an article from, from the bullyondesk.com that Today, again, on the 29th of January, uh, silver was fixed uh, at 1408. And uh, prior to that fix, the price of silver hadn't traded below $14.19, so it was stuck around 1420. And they've set it below the market price. I mean, this is quite desperate, in my opinion. And uh, the six participants in the fix. Are, according to uh, the bullion desk, are HSBC, JP Morgan, uh, Mitsui uh, & Co., uh, Japanese, Bank of Nova, Nova Scotia, Toronto Dominion, and UBS. And apparently they work together with the CME, you know. Um, and the Bank of England as well is heavily involved uh, with, you know, the uh, LBMA. Uh, they're not a member. But uh, if you look at the LBMA uh, website, uh, it says the Bank of England is represented on both the LBMA's management committee and the physical committee and plays an important part, uh, an important role in the London gold market. Uh, and I assume also silver because the LBMA is both. That's bullion, you know, silver bullion, gold bullion. Um, although the bank isn't a member of the LBMA, members of the LBMA hold gold custody accounts with the bank. Reputedly, it is the second largest vault in the world with approximately 500,000 gold bars held in safe custody on behalf of its customers, including LBA mem uh, LBMA members. And there's even a quote here, the Bank of Bain England has been intrinsically linked with the London bullion market since its foundation in 1694. So it makes you wonder, you know, um, I personally don't think uh, the Bank of England is going to do anything about this. Uh, you know, and the fact that they've been able to do it twice in a row, you know, where is the Financial Conduct Authority in the UK or the FCA? You know, they, they should be, uh, you know, they should have closed down the LBMA yesterday. <laughs> and, no, they've let it uh, do the same thing again today. Set the price uh, below, you know, the level where it was in the market. And uh, I was speaking with, uh, you know, a retail bullion dealer uh, earlier today, uh, someone I know, and uh, here in England. And he said he was really angry and he's going to write a letter uh, to the LBMA over the weekend because he's been quite busy. But he, you know, he said, you know, if he had bought some silver yesterday, you know, and usually the, you know, the, the fix is used to buy physical silver. And uh, he's happy he didn't because the person who probably was going to sell to him was going to say, no, I can't give you this price, you know. 
and vice versa. What if you decided to uh, sell silver yesterday and the agreement was that you'd give you'd be given the the price of the fix? You know, you'd you'd have been screwed either way, you know, buyers and sellers would have been mayhem. And the other thing that's interesting is that a lot of silver derivatives are set on the back of the uh, LBMA uh, London fix for silver. So makes you wonder, you know, if there is a problem there in terms of the silver derivatives. Uh, main, and because, you know, we've been able to, we had been able to break above 1440 comfortably earlier this week. And that was a really key uh, resistance level. But with what happened yesterday, it completely like, you know, silver didn't drop below 14, but it's now, you know, at 1420. And it probably should have been, you know, if they'd fixed it properly yesterday, it probably would have gone higher and we could probably be talking about $15 uh, dollars today. But no, we're still stuck at 1420 and we're going to close the week and the month below that 1440 level. It looks like it's still got, uh, you know, uh, some about three hours to go uh, in the silver uh, futures market, but uh, it doesn't look like we're going to close above 1440. So, yeah, my opinion of, of this uh, is just that these uh, bullion banks that are fixing the price of silver, they must be all the same position, all the same. They must have a huge short position or else they wouldn't have fixed the price, you know, uh, below, uh, so far below the market, especially yesterday and today as well. They've done it again. So... Yeah, um, very interesting uh, development, uh, frustrating, and uh, I don't think any, you know, let's see if the FCA in the UK, you know, our uh, version of the, you know, SCC uh, is going to do anything about it. I doubt it. Um, and the Bank of England, uh, they argue that, uh, you know, they don't regulate conduct, so you know, they're not going to do anything about it, even though these uh, LBMA, LBA, LBMA members are all banks. Uh, quite amazing, you know. I, I, don't want, I wouldn't want to deal with the LBMA. Uh, and that's why, you know, if you're going to invest uh, or store your wealth in gold and silver, do it physically. Uh, don't play the banker's game. You... you, you <laughs> This is blatantly, I've never seen anything like this, and it's happened twice in a row. Um, and I doubt anything will be done um, to rectify it. Take care. Have a good weekend. Uh, bye.